Okay, you guys, I'm back at it again with a back at it again. I don't know why, but I'm like bursting with energy right now. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm going to be posting the rest of the Zodiac sign readings tomorrow. So respect every, if I didn't do your Zodiac sign reading yet, I'm going to post it tomorrow, okay? Child, I'm going to wake up like at, like at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning and just start posting everybody readings. So the rest of the Zodiac sign readings is going to be out tomorrow, but for the rest of today, I'm going to be shooting like three or four more videos at y'all. Just general readings for today. Okay. So for this reading, all right. This card popped out while I was getting my tarot decks. You know, because I'm going to pull from a couple of different decks for the rest of the day. This card right here fell out. It says, do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? I need to know if I should move on. I'm hurting. So somebody wants to know if you still care for them. So somebody, you're not with this person. But this person is thinking about you. I don't feel like you're thinking about this person at all. I think someone just cannot get over you. And I, I, I'm not lying. The first thing I heard when I seen this card. Because <laughs> it fell on the floor when I was getting my other my other deck. It fell on the floor. And when I first picked it up and read it. After I got done reading, the first thing I heard was. Heck you know, I'm gone love. So, I don't know, child. I don't know. Let's see why this person could be hurting, though. It came from this deck. So, I want to get one more. I want to get one more. <clears throat> Somebody can't get over you, child. Whether you're a masculine or a feminine. Although, you know, this might definitely be for my ladies. But take the energy as it resonates. Let's see here. I said one more here for this. One more. Do you still think about me? Do you still want me? <laughs> I mean, somebody ain't contacting you. Like, are you even contacting this person? They may be asking these questions, but they may they may be asking it to themselves. I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. Mm-hmm. You see that? This man is ghosting you. Look, I ghosted you because it was getting too intense. I intense. I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. Divine feminine already felt it. You already felt this person had trust issues. You already felt that this person was gonna be in and out of your life. They wasn't gonna be calling you half of the time. They wasn't gonna be texting you half of the time. And you probably test this situation out. So it's like, no, I don't think about you. And if you do think about this person, it's because this person is thinking about you. You don't want them. You probably never had love for them. You, I mean, you probably had love for them, but I don't think you was in love with them. Maybe you were. But I feel like all that is gone. All that is gone because you, you felt someone not wanting to openly let you in. And you just said that you ain't the type of person. I, I'm picking up on the vibe family. Like, you, you meet real with real. You want genuine authenticness. Like, how you feel about me, speak up. What it is and what it ain't. Let me know. I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. Like, forget your family. What you mean, your family? I'm not messing with your daddy or your mama or your cousins, brothers and sisters. Forget all of them. What? Here's the type I'm picking up on. Child, child, child. But let's get some more out here, Divine Feminine. See what's going on. Because I really find like this message is... Mainly for you here. I do. Should I pull from um here? <clears throat> I'm thinking about pulling from here <clears throat> to clarify this. Each of these cards here. Let me see. I get some from here. Well, really, this person's still thinking about you. This person is in love with you. I need to know if I should move on. I'm hurting. You only hurt him because of how you treated this person. That's the only reason why you hurt him. And they can't move on. They said they're thinking about you. The shoe is on the other foot now, is what I'm hearing. They thought it was a game. They thought they could tour with you like they tour with everybody else. Let's see here. Clarify this do you still think about me? Child, this person long as I don't know what child. Oh, this person is. Lonely divine feminine, you got somebody in their head thinking about the good times, the bad times, thinking about the time they ghosted you. They think about everything. This person is so lonely. 
I'm I'm just turned crazy, deranged. <laughs> I love some goddamn uh. What's his name? Martin Lawrence. I love Martin Lawrence. I'm picking. I don't know why I'm picking up on his comedy. Uh, crazy deranged. I don't know. This person could definitely be crazy. Definitely. I see 31 on here. They could be significant. Or 4 could be significant. Give me one more here with this loneliness. And I see blessings at the bottom of the deck. Baby girl, you a blessing. Blessing, 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 blessing. The way you talk, you got it. The way you walk, you got it. Now somebody's seeing you as a blessing. Now they're seeing you as a blessing. Now they want to do all it takes to get back to you. Give me one more here with this loneliness. And I feel like it's too late though. We got A. This person could possibly need your help here. Or you sold this person some type of kindness here. You had, you you like, this person felt like you seen straight through them. I don't know what's, what's like wrong with the mental state of somebody here. Because I'm definitely getting something about mental with the uh, hospital thing being in the background here. This is basically somebody like in a hospital. It's like a hospital room. Somebody could be sick. They definitely could be. And they're not telling people. Try to look at that 48. Because we got 17 on this card. 8. 48. Again, I keep saying they got that doggone number. And then we got 8 at the bottom of the deck here with this alliance. Yeah, like you, I feel like... <clears throat> somebody feel like you see straight through them. Both of these spotlights. That's when you see straight through them. You know this person that's hurting. It's like you... This say for instance, like you, you dating somebody, right? You know this person got mommy issues. You you knew this person had trust issues. You already knew they did. Because they could have possibly already ghosted you. But what they didn't expect was they wasn't going to get no phone call or text message from you when they ghosted you. This is how this person get people to love on them by chasing them. You didn't chase this person. And something to do with this person's family. This person feels so lonely in their family here. I'm not too sure why it's like that, but you know, some people in some weird ass families, you know, <laughs> to the point where like, like literally they lock down with their family. It's giving like cook, cook type of vibes. Clarify this, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. Oh, this is a people pleaser. They care about what their family think about the people that they bring home. And I just say there's nothing wrong with that or anything, but it's like, Clearly something else is going on with this family, with this collaboration at the bottom of the deck. But we got natural disaster with sweetheart in reverse. And they didn't want to take the risk. This person felt like it would be very risky if they brought you home. This person seen a future with you. They seen a future with you. A baby, they seen, they seen it with you. I'm telling you, like, somebody, like, they fantasized their whole life with you. They did. I know two cards came out, but I'm going to get one more with this. <clears throat> Let me get one more with this. Cause like, nah, they, they, they just knew your family was gonna, that their family was going to be like, nah. Mm -mm. They probably told this person, like, nah, you're going to take a risk being with this person or something like that. Child, we got libation. Religion. Something about this person's religion, they, their family belief system, what they believe in. Mm -mm. It could, could definitely be something dark, though. I ain't going to hold you a lot to you. I want to get one from here as well for each of these cards. And then I'm going to start pulling from my other deck. Let's see. Let's get some more here. That card wanted to slip out right up under this family. Child, we got clout hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes sure. Come out of family full of drama, full of ish. They read on each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are clout. This person's coming from a clout-chasing family. They always want the spotlight to be put on them. They look for situations that benefit them. This person is supposed to be someone who always be in situations that benefit them. It's giving like an everything over heart situation. Forget your feelings, get the money. I don't know, something like that. It's something like that. It's all about money. We got in their head, the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone's in their head thinking about you, stalking the heck out of you, child. You stole someone's heart, they feel like. Give me some of this, uh, do you still think about me? That's why they said thinking about you, because you. This is a person who's like, have to hide their feelings and emotions and put them to the side. 
They either have to do this or they always doing it. Speaking of always, we got always partying. This person hides behind materialistic things, partying, going out every weekend. Somebody's a heavy, heavy drinker. I'm seeing a lot of 30 parties here. Oh my gosh. A lot of like one night stands. Jeez. But something about you was different. We got photo proof at the bottom of the deck getting evidence. Like right, somebody just watching you. Hmm. Okay, I thought I didn't know my family was going to accept you. <clears throat> we got ego. Her ego. Ego getting in the way of relationships. Yeah. A egotistical family. This person knew that their family was going to get in a real relationship because they care too much about what they think, unfortunately. They care way too much. And it's really hurting them. It's really hurting them. Everybody in their family got a big ego. Everybody in their family trying to get in the way of each other's relationships with this natural disasters coming out. They always doing it. Nobody wants to see nobody happy. They, these people are always overindulging in everything. They're very egotistical. Very egotistical. And this person is so upset that he's letting his family... This person cries. I, this is a man. This man cry, yo. Okay, this man cries. He does. He does. But you're gone. It's like, I understand this This masculine mate, you know. And we got legal issues at the bottom of the deck. It just... Mm -mm, you are gone. Mm-mm. Let me get some from here, you guys. Let's get some from here. Here, here, here. <clears throat> Don't take my love away. I'm going to be channeling a couple of songs and just reading, I feel like. I, I don't know. If, I don't remember if I said a song already. I think I, I think I sung like two songs already. I don't know. Throw chakra. No, let's throw it out chakra. Let's see here. Give me some more for this. Do you still think about me? Wait. So I like pulling the cards from this side. Somebody love your sense of humor as well. Child, we got recognition and reward here, but it fell out sideways. We're suffering in silence at the bottom of the day. Somebody wants to be free from a family of doubters. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. But it's like you grown. You don't have to be around this. You, you are choosing to stay in this family dynamic. You are choosing to stay there. I don't give a damn if you was. Your family is like one big old cult or coven or anything. You ain't got to stay in it. You ain't got to stay there. I don't care. Yeah, they might attack you or whatever, but it don't matter. It don't matter. People are going to attack you either way it go. It comes, with, it comes with life if somebody got a problem with you. But that don't mean you ain't got the strength to overcome it. But this person has major insecurities, though. They haven't started unpacking their family drama because they ain't even got away from their family yet. But we got recognition and reward. Somebody feel like you don't recognize them no more. Like you, you're not focused on them no more. Now somebody's focused on you. The tables have turned. Someone is not focused on you. I'm telling you. This person is like finally starting to recognize you. Possibly and something like that. What about this recognition and reward? <clears throat> Surrender. Child, we got mental conflict. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this person has to finally recognize what they did. They own fault. Somebody's battling their ego right now because their ego got in the way of this relationship. Their ego is way too big. I'm talking about come me down, sir. Sim, 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 sim me down. Big ass freak ego. Calm your butt down. You ain't that doggone sexy. Don't nobody care about your drip like that. Oh, no, nobody care about them low vibrational females might care about it. Them Jezebels, you know. They're supposed to care about it though. They Jezebels. Those are some those are biggest tests for men. Good looking women. <laughs> they got game. There's, there's, child, I feel like women that look good and but that I, but not just not not it's beyond just looking good. 
it's women that look good that had a whole package on the outside but on the inside they really don't mean the people that they're going after no type of good they don't mean them well at all these are the biggest challenges for men because men are always taught how to go after women and especially women that look good not every man is like that now don't get me wrong but this is a masculine here i feel like that has like a particular way that he dresses and looks to the outside world him and his family are like very flashy very flashy, I feel like. Very tuned into the 3D reality. <clears throat> this man is fighting with himself right now. He's mess so mad at himself. As he should be. As he should be. Clarify, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you. Because what do you mean? Look at that with partnerships and alliances. But he wanted to accept you, though. But because his family didn't want to accept you, he couldn't go along with it. And I understand to some point. I, I promise you I do. Because it don't matter, it don't matter how old this man is. Everybody is not able to build up the strength to face their family. And I get it. I get it. But good thing, but he should be looking at himself as a problem, not you. I get it. I get that you might not have the strength. But at the end of the day, it's still an excuse. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I'm just feeling the need not to make them no excuses for this person for some reason. We got movement choices. And see, at the end of the day, it was your decision. At the end of the day, it was your decision on whether or not, what did you want to do? What do, what pathway would you want to choose? Are you going to choose love? you going to choose your family? Choose yourself? Like, you know, this person is hurt over their decision. They base their decision off of other people. Care about this movement choices and decisions. Look at that discontent and boredom. And now they sitting with their family. This person is so bored and lonely. Loneliness already came out. I'm talking about they are so bored with life. We got accelerated motion with surrender. Yet again, suffering in silence and freedom. This person is choosing to stay in this. They choosing to people please. If this person would have chose to go through the right door here... They would have had nothing but happiness. That's what I'm getting with the celebrated emotion. They would have had nothing but happiness here. Nothing but happiness. All right, y'all. Let's pull from the tarot deck here. Matter of fact, wait. Let me get an oracle card. Let's get an oracle card here for this uh, message. I'm gonna look at the. Uh, I wanna look at the uh, the relationship message specifically for whatever oracle come out. What is the main relationship message for whatever this uh, energy is currently divine? Thank you so much, love. We got time to go at the bottom of the deck. Yep. Mm-hmm. You freed yourself from this. You were like, oh, time to go. <laughs> you ain't going to sugarcoat me, baby. You ain't going to gaslight me. You ain't going to have me running around chasing up behind you, itching for a phone call or text me. Nah. Me? Not divine feminine. But I feel like it's time to go. Yeah, it was time to go, baby. <laughs> Come on. And this person's also getting size and synchronicity that it's time to start people pleasing for their family here, too, I feel. Look, we got Y. Again, 31. First part that came out with this, uh, when I clarified, was loneliness. And it has 31 on it. Something about four is definitely significant here. Let me clarify this with both of these other decks. Clarify this why before I read it. <clears throat> we got triumph, success, death at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's in heavy regret here. Clarify this. Somebody wants to reconcile, but they don't know where your head space at. I just told you where is it. The guilt. This person feeling so guilty. I release any belief that no longer exists in my soul's growth. This person cannot deny that they was the issue here. We got success right behind. This person can no longer deny here either that you are successful in your purpose. Someone here sees that you're like working very hard on yourself. You walk away from a situation here and started working on yourself. And that's another thing that got this person all in their head about you. Because they could have definitely like prejudged you. Like, so if this person is very flashy, this person, I don't know, you might not, you probably, you probably not come off as flashy, but you're still destined for success, though. You're still very successful here in your own right. 
Yeah, we got building blocks in reverse. This person probably felt like they couldn't they couldn't build with you. That's what I'm saying. Everybody in this family go out to people that look a certain way. But it's like, do you truly have the money and the finances to back all of that up? I don't know. Something like that, y'all. I'm going to get one more from here. Clarify this why. Why, why, why? I feel like I just want me a trophy. That's what I'm getting here, too. Somebody, you ain't nobody's trophy, though. You ain't nobody's trophy. Somebody could definitely, like, try to, like, show you off as a trophy or something. But, no. Mm -mm. I don't like that trophy thing. Shout out got jackpot. Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. You moved away from this person. You was like, no, it's time to go. And you started building. And this person is feeling so guilty, asking themselves, why? You are successful right now. You're successful right now. Or you're going to be. And this person just see, like, y'all get what I'm trying to say. My loves. Y'all get it. This person could have prejudged you. You probably didn't have as much money as this person when you met them. But it's like you left them and like, lo and behold, not only do you have great ideas that would bring you a lot of money and stuff, but it's just like, stop judging people. Stop judging people. Ugh. Let me see here. Clarify this why. Before I, uh, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the judgment. Clarify this why before I read it. Child, we got the four cups. I, I tried so hard. Always, mmm, jeez. In my fine design. Is that, uh, who was that? God damn, I forgot who that was. I think that's, um, hey, he's from uh, Africa. I tried so hard. Yeah, this is definitely somebody like could be in the streets here. This person is in major regret here. Cut up out of four cups. Major regret. This is like, who did I miss out on? That person throwing them motherfuckers back, bro, thinking about you. This person definitely drinks a lot. Child with a dog on love just fell. And it fell on the floor in reverse. I cannot make this up, y'all. Like, who did I miss out on here? Who did I miss out on here? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take it upright, but yeah. All right. Why? Excuse my daughter singing in the background, y'all. 31. Bell. Bell. 31, 31. You sound beautiful, baby girl, but give me a second. She loves singing. Singing can also be significant here. Okay, we have motives, driving intention, the power of knowing the why. This is the Oracle message. I'm going to read the Oracle message first. There is a great power in understanding your motives right now. The oracle asks you to be very clear about why you're asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invisible why is a life force energy without the seed, which brings, in, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. Relationship message. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. Mm. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this and why did I say that and spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Listen to the messages from your, from your intuition, from the knowing deep within, your, within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question 
you ask yourself and your partner today, why? So this person is asking themselves, why do they treat you the way they treated you? Why do they come off to you the way they come off to everybody else? And they, this person, knowing doggone wood, they had deep feelings for you. They just didn't express it due to their family. But now they beating themselves up like, why, 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 why? Because now this person see that you're winning. Child, this is crazy. And I also see that you ask yourself here too, like, why Why am I in this, in this situation with this person? Why, not, why am I with this person? What is this person trying to teach me? You know, kind of about this guilt here specifically. We got the page of cuts at the bottom. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize to you. Yeah, this person was definitely trying to have you on some type of delusion here. Child was in love with again. The love was out here twice now. And this man was in love with you. Clarify about his lovers with the six of wands. And they see that you win it. And they see that you are getting attention from so many other people. If you ain't stepped into this energy already, baby, you are going to. What is the lover? The lovers is right here twice for the exact same card. With the four sword. This man, oh my gosh, all he thinks about is you. Six of Wands here with the hyphen in the star with the Six of Pentacles. I mean the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Can I this? Do you still think about me? Do you still want me? Do you still love me? Child, we got the King of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. I just talked about Six of Pentacles and then it came out with King of Wands. Let me find out. I'll just uh futurize myself a little bit. <laughs> Somebody probably wants to make something fair. This person like probably wanted to break from you. What's this King of Wands, Six of Pentacles? Yeah, they're thinking about these impulsive actions that they took towards you. Child, we got the Two of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. This person feel like they are blocked from you. I'm telling you because you're doing good for yourself. This person did try to break from you and they didn't want you to see it because all they cared about was money. King of Wands, very flashy, very good looking. I'm telling you, what's that two of swords? We got the king of pentacles. All they care about is money. All this person care about is money, y'all. And now they're constantly thinking about you because you open this person's heart up some type of way. What's this always partying with judgment? Child. With the six of cups. Family and friend, all they know is partying, having fun. That's it. What's the six of cups? With the eight got drinking, throwing them both. I'm talking about somebody throwing them up back, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You got the seven of swords with the knight of pentacles. Yeah, somebody wanted to slow you down. This person seen that you was I don't know, this person. Mm -hmm. A lot of deception around them. This person deceiving themselves. Cut about this mental conflict. Four of Pentacles holding back. What's the Four of Pentacles? With the Three of Swords. And the King of Cups holding back their feelings for you. This person knew that they had feelings for you and they was holding it back. That's what I'm getting with that King of Cups. And now they upset with themselves again with the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody from your past. What's this King of Cups? This person ain't used to expressing their emotions. With the, this person wants to apologize. Clarify recognition and reward. You probably being recognized for something. Or again, when I say this person has to recognize their ways. Ace of Wands. This person is like trying to manifest a new beginning with you. What's the Ace of Wands? With the Empress. Child, Ace of Wands just clarified itself. Oh my gosh. Why the Ace of Wands here twice? The Magician with the Demon card at the bottom of the deck. This person could have been doing sex magic or something. What's this Magician? I've seen the Ace of Cups. What's the Magician? The two of cups. This person's trying to manifest a new beginning with you. 
What's the magician two of cups? With the ace of swords, speaking some type of truth. The, but all somebody doing is thinking about this though. I I don't I don't know. For me, I really feel like this cycle with this person is over with. But it's so crazy because somebody never expressed their love for you. And now that you are gone, this person, now they feeling all of it. Clarify, I didn't know if my family was going to accept you with the four of cups. You see what I'm saying? You have moved on with your life here. Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands? Once again, not only did the Ace of Wands clarify itself, but the damn Two of Wands just clarified itself, yo. Somebody here wants to be free from their family so bad, they probably do not know how to go about it. What's, why the Two of Wands here twice? Oh my God, these cards is clarifying themselves. We got the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants love. What's this Knight of Cups? Somebody wants to offer their cup to someone. Justice. But they're so afraid they with the got with the Queen of Cups. Somebody wants to offer their cup to you. But they are so afraid of their family. This is crazy. What's this Queen of Cups? All they think about is you. I'm talking about this person. They daydream about you all the time. All the time. What's the Queen of Cups? And the way they treated you. Oh my goodness. With the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles already came out here. So you about your money too. But it's like you lead, you you led with emotions at first. And you kind of still do lead with emotions. But more, of course, more logical. But it's like you're not afraid to open up. You're about your money at the same time. But you're also not afraid to open up. This person see you as a match. We got the king and the queen of pentacles out here along with the king and the queen of cups. This is crazy. Clarify the ego card. You was definitely not egotistical. Look at the five of swords. This person could be in a relationship right now. We got the ace of cups, the five of swords with the ten of pentacles. Well, this person could be thinking about some time. This person arguing with their family. They could be arguing with their family here. I need to clarify ego for getting in the way of this relationship. I feel like somebody arguing with their family. Could definitely be like a higher friend figure. Because something about religion here. What's this five of swords specifically? Going on a new beginning possibly with the two. They want love. So somebody could be fighting with their family about you. I don't know. It's a five of swords. Child, the three of swords. And it fell right on top of the lovers, y'all. This person is so heartbroken. What's this ten of pentacles? With the death. Ooh, we. We got the tower. This person is finding out things about their family here, I feel like. Secrets about their family. That their mom and sisters and things. Something about the women in their family. Something is very shocking. What's this Tower of Ten of Pentacles? Because of the death card at the bottom of the deck. With the Seven of Cups, this person is figuring something out. He's figuring things out about his family that's shocking the mess out of him. What's the Ace of Cups? We got the Two of Cups again. With the Nine of Cups. Well, right on top of the Two of Cups is down here. What's the nine of cups with the uh, ace of cups? I just seen the ten of cups. Wish fulfillment. We got the hierophant again. I'm telling you something. Who is it? What is hierophant? What's the hierophant? It's somebody in their family specific. Ace of cups could be a mom, but they're not. Yeah, it's not like an older person in their family here. This hierophant, somebody that's religious here, that they have a lot of love for. It could be their mom, that they've been through a lot of things with here with this nine of wands. They're afraid of going against this person. Because they, they do have love for this person. They value their opinion. Child got the sister cups with the nine of wands again. They see each other. What's this nine of wands here specifically? Two of cups. I'm also getting another message here. With the eight of wands. You can also be this higher thing. Like some type of uh, leader here. 
over others so you help people and you have a lot of love for this with this ace of cups this could be you and this nine of wands energy on guard from this person this person could be trying to send you some type of uh messages here what's the eight of wands here with nine of wands page of pentacles you got the ten of cups the hermit the nine of swords with the sun the eight of swords Mm -hmm. Somebody in their family could have tried to attack you spiritually to stall this connection. What's this movement, choices, and decisions? Got the Nine of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Pentacles? With the Nine of Swords. Nine, nine. Here again. Yeah. What's this Nine of Swords here? Eight of Wands. The Empress with the Ace of Pentacles. So upset. This person know you got bigger offers coming in. Just bigger everything. Somebody cannot get it together in time to express something to you. I don't feel like this is gonna go nowhere. This is over. This is already over with here. I thought like this is already over with. I honestly do. I honestly do. What we finna see here. Let me get an outcome in this situation. What's the outcome here? It's already over with. This person's like, I feel like forever going to beat themselves up about this. And probably be pissed with their family. That they let their family, uh, what they think about stuff get to them. Third eye chakra. What's the third eye chakra? Somebody now see that they should have moved forward towards you. With patience. Victory and success. What's the third eye chakra here with patience? Because now they want you back. And they stalking you. This person is stalking you. This person is so obsessed with you. They want you back. This person wants you back. They watch you from fake accounts. Whatever type of platform you have. It ain't got to be no big one. This person watches you. What's the third out chakra here with patience? Stalker. Staving. This time, won't you save me? Oh, no. What's this saving? I heard she don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Chopping on so many songs. We got good news with eternal love. This is so crazy. Somebody seen everlasting love with you, like going old together. Mm mm. I'm not really let people get in the way of how they felt about you. Let me um pull one more. I'm gonna pull one more from this deck just for the sake of this reading. One more. I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. But again, I ghosted you because it was getting too intense. I don't let people in my life easily because I have trust issues. This person will never get personal with you. They did not want to get personal with you because from the moment this person met you, they felt something. They felt something and they have always fought it. They couldn't, they couldn't take it, so they couldn't let you get close because they also had an image to uphold when it comes to their family. And for some of you, they could have definitely been in the situation here already. The leverages are here twice. The ace of wands are here twice. The two of wands are here twice. This person going crazy without you, okay? They going cuckoo. Like, seriously. Because they want you back. But it's their family that's holding them back for you. It's really, no, it's them that's holding them back. Forget they, it's them. It's them. You a grown man. It's them. Like I said, I don't care what you got going on with your family. Yes, you choosing the people, please. But all right, y'all. I'm going to close your reading out right there. Like I said, you are already adios gone. I understand this person got love for you or whatever. But, hey, it is what it is. A lot of people going to have love for you. So, yeah, let's just keep it on moving, y'all. Let's keep moving forward. I feel like that's what you're doing. And, child, I don't know, child. Let me get something up for this person. What this person got going on right now? We got destiny. What this person got going on right now? 
awareness with denial. Who's this awareness? Patience. We got foundation achievements. This person is becoming more aware of their family, I feel. It's something about their family. Because they have to wake up to what's really going on around them. What's this awareness here with foundation achievements? It's something about their family. They're not realizing uh, they fighting with their family, y'all. So this person is like chosen. This is this is someone that you, you came across. I feel like both of you have a high calling on your life here. This is someone that missed out on a contract with you. Because they couldn't fulfill the contract in time. And they wouldn't express themselves to you. This contract is, is voided here. You Not only did you wake this person up, but now this person is about to have a big awakening about what's really going on in their family and how people really feel about them and the truth of their family. Ooh, wee, this is crazy. That's crazy. What's this, uh, this, this conflict, foundation achievements with awareness for this person? Oh my goodness, the Queen of Wands, three... The Queen of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the King of Wands. What is this? What is this? This could have something to do with their parents. The Moon, the Page of Swords with the World. Oh my gosh. What's this King, Queen of Wands out here with this, page, this Three of Wands? Or they just thinking about... This person could be in a relationship, too. Destiny came out, y'all. Destiny with victory and success. This person trying to find a calling. They could be stuck in a situation here, though, with someone. This King, Queen of Wands could definitely be like them saying a match in you. What's King, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands? Like, he, he wants to move forward with you and his creativity. Make it that apology. Yeah, you disconnected. You redrew from this person. And he wants to apologize. I'm di yeah, but the contract is over with, though, y'all. I don't know. Maybe it's for, maybe it like re rekindle itself years from now. Because I'm definitely saying this person has like a, a calling. But I don't feel like it's with you. I feel like this person is going to meet someone else after they get done healing from their family and things. I don't feel like it's going to be with you. I don't. So I'm going to close the reading out right there, you guys. Dang, it's crazy. This is a this is a deep one. <laughs> but I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. I shay. Mwah.